Aloha everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Huga themes. I also do a little bit of stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, and even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I'm excited to share with you the latest She Lives Aloha kit. In case you couldn't already tell by the name of this subscription, She Lives Aloha is inspired by the islands of Hawaii, which I still consider home. This box is $49.95 plus shipping per quarter, but if you use the code Aloha Noel, you can save $10 on your first box. This box was kindly sent to me for a review and I am so, so excited. For the past few kits, they've been taking us to the different islands throughout Hawaii and so of course I absolutely love the last box, which was featuring Maui. This one I believe is featuring the Big Island, which is also called Hawaii, so it is often called the Big Island, so there's no confusion between talking about the island itself and the entire state. So we're going to get into it and see what we have got this time around. So this is kind of funny because I just opened it up and there's actually a note from them confirming the code that I just shared with you and I'd actually reached out to them because I hadn't opened the box yet asking um, what I should tell you guys to use as a, as a discount code, but again, it is Aloha Noel, and you can save $10. So I'm going to open up the tissue paper. I always love the little pineapple sticker, and I love that they customize the boxes by putting your name on the front. So I'm seeing a few pieces of paper right on top. There is a maker spotlight, so a lady named Kelsey Walazuski. I'm not sure if I'm saying that last name correctly, but we'll find out a little bit more about Kelsey as we go through it. And then on the other side, it looks like the theme for this box our adventure that we're going on is brunch on the Big Island, so there's probably going to be some delectable treats in here, which I'm pretty excited about. Then the second card, you guys, has some fun things to do on the Big Island, which is awesome, and the opposite side has Koele Cafe's top places to visit in Hilo, so some suggestions for places to eat and things to do. So let's see a little bit about fun things to do on the Big Island. It says, people often ask us which side of the island they should visit, and my response is that it depends on what kind of experience you want. Want. Absolutely. When in Hilo, visit the town's unique mom-and-pop establishments, restaurants, and craft fairs. The lush green landscape, historic landmarks, and family-owned farms are ripe for exploring. Whereas in sunny Kona, check into a resort for some R&R &R and enjoy the amazing sunsets the west side of the island is known for. The snorkeling on the Big Island is some of the best in the islands. The west offers so many possibilities, Hapuna Beach, Puako Beach, and Mauna Lani Beach. And of course, the Big Island is also known for the fact that it has the biggest volcanoes. There are some that are active, there are some that are snow-capped, you really get every kind of environment there, as well as, of course, the gorgeous rainforest, and that's kind of why I love to stay on the Hilo side. It has been some years since I've been to the Big Island, but I just associate it with growing up and getting to go to Hilo for the Merry Monarch Hula Festival, which I did dance hula growing up as well, so it is green for a reason. It's a little bit wetter on that side, but it is gorgeous. So it's also suggesting that in addition to visiting Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, you should go to the Pana'eva Zoo, the Lava Tree State Monument, and Punaluhu Bake Shop. Ooh yeah, Punaluhu Bake Shop. All right, so let me put this off to the side. Oh my gosh, you guys, there is a gorgeous picture of a poke bowl. I could use one of those right now. It's just not the same. I know there are tons of poke shops here now, especially in San Diego, but it's just not the same as getting some poke on the Big Island or on Maui or just in the islands in general. So I'm going to prop this up in terms of brunch on the big island so I can tell you a little bit about the items as we find them. So it says, if you're a foodie, a visit to the big island is a must. Everywhere from Hilo to Kona offers up unique eats. While we wish we could deliver a dozen of Punalu'u Bake Shop's piping hot malasadas to your doorstep, we've included the next best thing. So enjoy. And then it has the list of everything. And it looks like there is that list of favorites from Koele Cafe, which is run by Chad and Dana. So super cute. Thank you. All right, you guys. So we have first got some, ooh, this sounds delicious, Oribe ginger lime tea. So it's just a little sample size. I've gotten some Oribe tea in a Big Island box, and it was delicious. I think it was the Mamaki tea. So let me see if I can find this on here. This is a cold brew iced tea made by Oribe with local ingredients. It does brew a whole half gallon, so some delicious, nice, refreshing iced tea. Sounds really good to me. The next thing I'm seeing is from Kuleana 
rum works the art and soul of rum gotta love that we do have a nice uh, recipe for what's called the hawaiian made which has kuleana rum fresh lime juice simple syrup mint leaves cucumber slices and one to two grains of hawaiian sea salt so that sounds pretty good a little bit like a mojito but with some cucumber slices in there as well so i'll be putting that off to the side we'll have to see what's coming from them all right, you guys, there is a big box in here, so let me go ahead and get this out. Wow, this is hefty. It is from Punalu'u Bake Shop. Guava, sweetbread, and malasada mix. Oh my gosh, you guys, so, so good. So the guavas in Hawaii are a little bit different. I didn't realize that until I traveled other places, but the ones that I grew up going on hikes and picking directly from the trees and eating without washing them, I know it's crazy, uh, but you could do that back in the day. They're yellow and bright pink on the inside. So this is the kind of color that you're gonna get when you use those guava. So let me see what it says. So you can do, I think you can do either the sweet bread or malasadas with this. I will probably be doing the sweet bread just because I don't trust myself with a fryer and I don't actually have like a proper fryer to uh, get those nice fluffy malasadas going, but let's see what it says about it. Punalu'u Bake Shop's Hawaiian sweet bread or malasada malasada mix yields a loaf of sweetbread or a dozen malasadas to enjoy these ono marcels at home follow the recipe on the box or our instagram reel i'm gonna have to go check that out you guys should check it out too super cool so that was the first two items and then we've got some more things to check out i'm gonna have to get creative with that but i'm i think it'll be fun all right, we got like a little uh, wooden sign, which is pretty cute. It just says beach. Now you guys know how I am with decor that has text on it. It's not like my favorite thing in the world, but this is pretty cute and funky. And I think this would look really good over my one day tiki bar. I have a very mini version of it right now in this little hutch where we kind of keep all of our liquor and drinking accessories, but super duper cute. It's from Artopia Hawaii. So I just think that is kind of cute and rustic. It's it's adorable and it's small, so you could even put this like on a wine bottle as like a gift as a gift tag. So let's see what it says. Wood sign with a scratch and fade resistant finish made in Hawaii by Michelle and Jason Dennison of Artopia. Ready to hang in your home with a jute twine hanger. I do appreciate that there's a hanger on it. My goal is to make art that reminds you of Hawaii and makes you smile, says Michelle. And this does kind of make me smile. So I would love to be at the beach right now. I just got back from like a mini vacation where I spent a lot of time at the beach and it's just not the same. I just, I need to be there a little more often. One day I'll have to have a beach home where I can just walk out every morning, right? That's a dream. Um, this looks pretty darn good. This is from Royal Hawaiian Orchards, sea salt macadamia nuts. And you know, I love me some macadamia nuts, not just because they're like famous in Hawaii, but they're just one of the fattiest nuts and they're delicious in almost any form. I love them when they're sweet and paired with chocolate. I love them when they're savory. I love them when they're just fresh. So let's see what it says about this. Royal Hawaiian Orchards macadamia nuts grown and cultivated in rich volcanic soil, GMO-free, gluten-free, sulfite free add it to your sweet bread Ooh, what a good idea or have it on the side but yeah you could totally like chop those up and put that into your sweet bread good good idea um this looks really really cute so it looks i'm guessing it's probably like a utensil set but look at the little carrying bag that it comes in you guys it's this fabric but it's got um a little underwater scene we've got all kinds of fish there's even a little honu right here at the top so let me see this is from moi moi it's a bamboo flatware set inspired by aloha so let's see we get a lot of flatware sets you know in all of our different boxes because everybody's trying to be a little bit more eco-friendly and earth-minded which i like i like this this one has a snap so it does have a flap to actually close it and it feels magnetic which is nice um, a lot of times we get the drawstring ones and i just feel like sometimes you're gonna lose your flatware your utensils but this one feels like it's nice and sealed so there is a straw which looks like a nice fat straw almost almost big enough maybe for your boba tea and then let's see what else we've got we've got some proper chopsticks Ooh, these are nice chunky chopsticks so really good for your pokemon on the go. Um, I don't use my chopsticks properly. I am like a bad Asian. I just never learned, but it's kind of like typing. I don't type properly either, but I've kind of figured it out. So if you just don't look too close and criticize the way I do it, I managed to eat I managed to eat. Don't worry. I managed to shovel the food in my face even with chopsticks. So all right, let's see what else we've got. 
We have also got a nice big spoon, because again, I will shovel it into my face if I need to, especially when you get down to those last little grains of rice at the bottom of the poke bowl and you need to scoop them all up because they've got all the delicious shoyu on there. So let's see, we, ooh, this is a pretty sharp knife, I gotta say. This is, it's big and it's very, very thin at the edge, so I feel like you could actually cut into something pretty good. I love that they included this brush so that you can clean your straw, that is really, really nice. And then of course, we have to have a fork as well. So this is like a six piece uh, utensil set. So we got our fork, we got our spoon, we got our knife, the classic three, right? Then we also got for alternative, we got our chopsticks. So that's, we'll count that as four, not four and five. We got our straw. So you're all set with your food and your beverage for five. And then finally we got the cleaning brush for six. So that is pretty awesome. And then of course we have this gorgeous little, little bag, which I do think is really cute and it just says moimoimarket.com so I guess that is where you could find more because I do like things in sets so that you can share right not just yourself at the beach and like everybody else you got to eat with your hands or you got to um you know find the plastic ones at the grocery store where you got your poke so let's see it says about this handcrafted utensil set and pouch from Moi Moi Market all materials from the fabric to the bamboo itself are ethically sourced and produced under fair trade conditions super duper cool so it does say about about that little card. It says a special Kuleana Agricole made a uh, cocktail tutorial by Kuleana Rum Works head mixologist Doug Sessions for you and they actually have a URL so you can watch it so that you can make this delicious drink. I was kind of hoping for some of the rum but I realized that might be kind of a tricky thing to send in boxes. So let's just go over everything that we got in this super fun Big Island kit celebrating the idea of brunch on the Big Island. I love that we got of course the uh, to-go utensils so that you can take your food to the beach uh, whether you are having um, poke bowl or maybe you're having it's early in the morning maybe you're having some loco moco um, so we have the Punalu'u Bake Shop Hawaiian sweet bread or malasada mix I will have to make the sweet bread like I said we have our cold brew iced tea which you could take in a nice water bottle nice and refreshing we got our cocktail tutorial for later in the afternoon so maybe you put that in a second water bottle to take with we got our mm, this is gonna be good our sea salt macadamia nuts I might eat these by themselves because I don't know if I have the patience to wait to put them in the bread. We got our very, very nice six piece utensil set with the very, very cute little bag to carry everything in. We got our very adorable handmade beach sign. So it says aloha there down in the corner as well. And then finally, we got that nice list of things to do on the Big Island if you are starting to plan some trips, whether they're family oriented or a couple's trip or a girl's trip. I know my husband and I were actually planning on going to the Big Island because I'm slowly letting him see the other islands besides Maui. We were actually planning on going Going towards the end of 2020 obviously that has been put on hold and we have a couple other trips to sort of make up for before we get back there but I do hope to go very very soon I know it will be very different from the last time I was there I was actually I think most recently um, no, actually most recently I was on the Hilo volcano side versus over in, in Kona. I've only think I've gone to Kona like one or two times in my whole life. But let me know if you have any fond memories of the Big Island and what your favorite item was. I think I'm really excited about the Punalu'u Bake Shop mix and uh, trying my hand at making some delicious guava bread. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and get your hands on a nice dose of the Big Island. We can have brunch together, virtually at least, and I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.